Your liver's enemies, eight foods to watch out for. The daily diet significantly impacts liver health. The liver plays a vital role in filtering and removing toxins and waste from the blood. However, certain foods contain harmful substances that can irritate and damage liver cells. Regular and prolonged consumption of these foods can lead to severe liver damage. Specifically, they can cause fat buildup in the liver, leading to the formation of scar tissue and fibrosis. This impairs the liver's ability to filter blood and detoxify the body, resulting in various serious health issues such as weight gain, high blood pressure, increased risk of stroke, diabetes, endocrine disorders, and other dangerous complications. Today, I will identify the nine most harmful foods for the liver that you should be aware of and suggest healthier alternatives. First, isolated soy protein is one of the most harmful substances for the liver. This type of protein is often added to products such as protein bars, weight loss drinks, protein powders, veggie burgers, and plant-based meat substitutes. During the production process, soy protein is extracted using a chemical solvent called hexane. This solvent can cause irritation and inflammation in liver cells. Additionally, heavy metals like aluminum are used to separate protein from soybeans, which can also harm the liver, brain, and bones. An average person only needs about 100 grams of protein per day. Therefore, I recommend avoiding products with high artificial protein content and obtaining protein from natural sources such as eggs, wild-caught salmon, grass-fed beef, and organic poultry. Second, various vegetable oils like soybean oil, corn oil, and sesame oil also contain many harmful substances for the liver. The seeds of these plants are often heavily treated with pesticides and herbicides like glyphosate. These chemicals are toxic and can cause liver damage. The high omega-6 content in vegetable oils makes them prone to oxidation and the formation of dangerous compounds like advanced glycation end products, ages, when heated during cooking. When consuming fried or sautéed foods cooked in these oils, ages can attach to the blood, leading to blockages in liver cells and other organs. Vegetable oils are widely used in processed foods such as snacks, cookies, chips, fried foods, sausages, salad dressings, and margarine. While it may be challenging to completely avoid them, I recommend cooking at home using healthier oils for the liver, such as pure olive oil, cold-pressed avocado oil, and natural coconut oil. For high-heat cooking, consider using grass-fed butter or lard, as they are heat-stable, less prone to oxidation, and do not produce harmful free radicals that can cause liver inflammation. Third, alcohol is a well-known liver-damaging beverage. Alcohol contributes to liver fat accumulation, leading to fatty liver disease. When consumed, it enters the bloodstream and is metabolized by the liver into acetaldehyde, a toxic substance. Acetaldehyde damages and harms liver cells. Moreover, alcohol inhibits the body from burning stored fat during fasting periods. When alcohol is consumed, the body prioritizes burning alcohol as an energy source before utilizing stored fat. Therefore, I recommend minimizing alcohol consumption as much as possible. When drinking alcohol, it's essential to avoid excessive consumption to prevent undue stress on the liver. Instead, consider healthier alternatives for relaxation, such as lavender tea or natural fermented foods like cheese, dark chocolate with no added sugar, kombucha, and kefir. Fourth, Fructose syrup is detrimental to the liver. High fructose corn syrup is commonly used in sauces, condiments, and processed foods. Unlike glucose, which is absorbed and used by most cells, 
fructose is primarily metabolized in the liver. While a small amount of fructose from natural fruits and berries is normal, excessive fructose from processed syrup can overload the liver, contributing to fatty liver disease. Over 80% of packaged foods today contain some form of fructose as a sweetening agent, especially in carbonated drinks, beer, and syrups. This has led to an increasing number of people developing weight gain, liver problems, and insulin resistance. Additionally, excess fructose can elevate uric acid levels, leading to gout and kidney stones. Therefore, I recommend gradually reducing sugar intake and opting for healthier choices such as stevia sweetened beverages, homemade low sugar condiments, and natural sweeteners. Fifth, aflatoxins are toxic substances produced by certain molds. They often contaminate food items like peanuts, peanut butter, and corn. Consuming excessive aflatoxins can damage the liver, disrupt DNA, and increase the risk of liver disease and cancer. To avoid aflatoxins, choose organic peanuts, specifically Valencia peanuts or wild peanuts, over conventional ones. When dealing with grains and legumes, Consider soaking, sprouting, or fermenting them to eliminate mold and reduce toxicity. Sixth, fillers like dextrose and maltodextrin found in processed foods can also harm the liver. These substances are commonly added as thickeners, bulking agents, or food preservatives. Maltodextrin and dextrose, in reality, are forms of sugar that may lead to liver damage if consumed excessively. While it may be challenging to completely avoid these additives, I recommend preparing more homemade meals using natural, whole ingredients and minimizing your reliance on heavily processed foods. In conclusion, making informed dietary choices is essential for maintaining liver health. By avoiding or limiting these harmful foods and adopting healthier alternatives, you can protect your liver and overall well-being. Liver damaging food number 7 involves fish with high mercury content. Mercury, a heavy metal, has the potential to gradually accumulate within liver cells, disrupting the normal production of enzymes. It also inflicts cellular damage and inflammation, impairing the liver's ability to detoxify other harmful substances we've discussed in this video. Mercury is notably concentrated in fish higher up the food chain, including species like shark, swordfish, king mackerel, tilefish, big-eye tuna, and marlin. It is advisable to limit consumption of these high-mercury fish to no more than once a month. Instead, Consider focusing on fish lower in the food chain, such as wild salmon, sardines, anchovies, and cod. It's essential to emphasize that pregnant and nursing mothers tend to be more susceptible to the harmful effects of mercury. If you are in this situation, it's prudent to avoid mercury in your diet as much as possible, if not entirely. Moving on to number 8, we have MSG. Monosodium glutamate. MSG is a flavor enhancer commonly used in fast food and packaged foods to enhance their taste. While a small amount of MSG might not cause significant harm, the fact that it's hidden in many foods means we often consume more than we realize. It appears under various names on labels, such as modified food starch, natural flavoring, yeast extract calcium glutamate, and many others. Regrettably, studies have shown that high levels of MSG can increase fat accumulation in the liver and visceral fat around the organs. This can lead to liver inflammation and excessive weight gain, particularly when considering that it tends to make food more irresistibly tasty, leading to overconsumption. Now, it's crucial to understand that while it might be challenging to eliminate all of these foods entirely from your diet, you should approach your diet and lifestyle with a sense of balance. 
Becoming aware of what is detrimental to your body is the first step toward reducing your consumption of these items and replacing them with healthier alternatives. By introducing the right nutrients, antioxidants, and whole foods into your diet, you can support your liver's natural detoxification processes. For instance, incorporating a daily salad containing organic, non-GMO cruciferous vegetables can provide sulforaphane and DIM, compounds that aid in cleansing the liver and facilitating the detoxification of harmful substances. Your liver is one of the few organs capable of complete healing and regeneration. There are indeed numerous other foods and nutrients that you can focus on incorporating into your diet to naturally cleanse and support liver health. To learn more about this topic, please like the video and subscribe to my Healthy Care channel. I want to express my gratitude once again for your viewership and support in watching this video today. I send my best wishes for you to always be safe, prosperous, and happy.